Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys an update to my Speedroy deck profile for October 2016. Uh, a couple of you have asked for an update to this deck, and it has been a few months since the last one, so I thought I'd show you guys what I've changed with the deck since then. Um, mostly playing with it online through some uh, dual tests. I thought this is the most consistent uh, Speedroid deck for a pure Speedroid uh, version. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I run three Terra Top. It's probably the best Speedroid with its uh, special summon option if you control no monsters and the ability to search out a Speedroid monster from my deck to the hand, if uh, except for Terra Top. So easy. Um, Exceed some synchro summon plays using this card and exceed summon plays depending on what speedroid you go for. And I also run three Tick and Tomborg. If you control a wind monster, you can special summon this card from your hand, which all the speedroids are wind monsters, making this card very easy to use. And then you can tribute this card to special summon one of. Uh, to uh, Speedroid Tuner from your deck. You can have special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except wind monsters, and you can only special summon Speedroid Tech and Tomborg once per turn. So you can use this card to get out Tri Eyed Dice, uh, Red Eyed Dice, whatever the situation calls for, which is really good with uh, Terra Top because it's an easy clear wing synchro play as well, or other wind synchro type monsters. And I also run three Double Yo Yo. Another easy synchro card to use. When this card is normal summon, you can target one level 3 or lower speedroid monster in your graveyard, special summon it, go for the tuner you need. It doesn't negate the effect, which is good, so you can get off Red Eye Dice's level changing effect with this card, bouncing this up to 7 for 7 play, or anything in between. And I also run 3 Speedroid Mecho. This card's good for the Battle Fader effect. With this card, when your opponent's monster declares a direct attack, while this card's in your hand, you can special summon this card in attack position if you do change all face-up monsters your opponent controls to defense mode. So it won't necessarily destroy them, but it will take care of that problem. And by switching them to defense mode, you can also hopefully get over heavy monsters that were summoned that turn that have low defense as well. And I run two red eye dice. This is the level one tuner that changes its level uh, when it's normal or special summoned by targeting another speedroid monster and changing its level. Um, I only run two because most of the time you can easily special summon this card out from the deck using Tink and Tomborg or get it back from the graveyard using double yo yo. Uh, same with tri eye dice. And I also like tri eye dice because of its effect from the graveyard where it can banish itself to negate an attack. It's also a quick effect. So you can respond pretty well against monster attacks, and your opponent you most of the time won't even see this coming, unless they know what Tri Eye Dice does. And I also run one Speedroid Ohaji Kid. Uh, when it's normal summon, you can target one tuner monster in either player's graveyard, special summon it to your side of the field, and if you do immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon one wind monster using that monster and this card only. So uh, make use of your opponent's tuner monsters with this card, uh, easy synchro summons immediately after it resolves, really well, especially when you're going up against another uh, synchro deck. And I also run two Denda and Daiko. Uh, this card helps to special summon speedroid tuners from my hand or graveyard uh, by banishing it from the graveyard. So if you use this for a synchro summon, then you can make use of it again. Uh, very fast uh, crystal wing plays with this monster. And to finish up the monster count, I run two Maxi, uh, just for draw power. Uh, it's the one weakness I found with this deck. Maxi really helps with those situations, just getting uh, useful cards you need into your hand, like Terra Top or Double Yo-Yo or things like that. And that's it for monsters. For spells, I run three, Speed Recovery. This card lets you special summon a Speedroid monster from your graveyard during your main phase. Except the turn it was sent to the graveyard, you can banish it to add target Speedroid monster in your graveyard and add to your hand. So revitalize your hand with useful monsters and also special summon using this card. Gotta run it at three in the pure build just because it's really consistent to use in those situations. Plus I won run one Iron Call. This helps with more special summoning ability. Just I found it can Consistent to run one Iron Call along with the speed recovery just for extra special summon plays. All you have to do is control a machine type monster, which is very easy in the Speedroid deck. And for other special summoning cards, one Soul Charge, I can really bring back the field with this card and go into a lot of different plays by making use of this for just some life point cost. Uh, one for one for searching out red eye dice even faster. And I run two Shock Surprise, uh, banish up to two Speedroid monsters in your graveyard, then target as many uh, cards on the field, destroy them. So get rid of pesky field spells, back row that your opponent has using this so you can make your synchro plays and not have to worry about anything else. 
and one limiter removal uh, for the machine type monster that you have for OTK purposes. Works really well also with Chambara, the level 5 synchro. Uh, one Regeki and one Dark Hole for board clearing for your opponent. And to wrap up the spells, I run three MST. I just like MST more than Twin Twisters in this deck, basically because you have to go off of uh, camp consistency for your play. So you don't want to get rid of too, too many things in the graveyard, which you can get them back with things like speed recovery or other monster effects. But even then, you're still pretty limited with hand size. And then for traps, I run three Call of the Haunted, just because having monsters on the field is very vital. So you want to use this to make that work out as best as possible. Uh, one bottomless trap hole and one solemn warning to finish up the trap cards. And then for the extra deck, I run one uh, clear wing synchro dragon. Uh, very easy to make this card. We'll probably run two. Uh, just don't have another one laying around somewhere. Otherwise, I would. Uh, one crystal wing synchro dragon. Once you get this guy out, you can pretty much say goodbye to your opponent's monster effects. One old entity Hester uh, for wind level four plays. Chambara is your OTK with two attacks per turn. Uh, Hagoda for a level changing speedroid effect. Armades, uh, Stardust Charge Warrior for a level 6 synchro play for wind monsters. Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend, this might be a Crimson Blader, depends on your plays you want to do. And Vulcan Divine could be a Goyo Guardian, depends on you know the player itself. Mistworm, just because it's the level 9 wind monster preferably. Same with Stardust Dragon for another level 8. Black Rose for board clearing. Uh, Puzzle for a level 4 uh, option again for wind monsters, for speedroids also. And for the Exceed monsters, I run one Levier and one Totem Bird. So yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, it's a really fun deck, so do check it out if you like for the synchro plays. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and Kira Twig out.